It's got some issues. I actually don't smell too bad. It's looked good. Man, they look good. There's nothing wrong with this. The exhaust was flowing into the motor. Beat that sucker on there really tight. Ow, that's really sharp right there. A little better. We'll know when we do a water test. Now we gotta do something with these things. Welding. It was a lot of beating into submission too. But I think there's a fire still going on inside there. Got one right there. Looks like I can see daylight. And got didn't even put gaskets back on it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Fixing Things. Man, man. We got a show for you today. That's right. Modifications. That's right. Sanctifications. We're doing everything today. That's right. Uh, on today's episode of Fixing Things, I got two things on the table. One, the oil pan on the motor we're going to install. It's got some issues. It's too big. So we got to do a little bit of weight reduction on on the that, that oil pan. It's just it's just humongous. So I think we're gonna do a little bit of cutting, a little bit of chopping, a little bit of welding on it. We got that motor down in there. And hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have the motor back down in it again to check the clearance and see if the oil pan fits. <laughs> Push this bad boy out. That'd be good right there. That'd give me some working room in here. I ain't never checked it to see if it's got oil in it. Oh yeah, she got oil. I actually don't smell too bad. Uh, I, I went ahead and ordered almost all the parts to rebuild this motor. And one of the things I wanted to do on it was check to see if the motor had flat top pistons or dish pistons. And if it had dish pistons, I um, was gonna order new pistons for it. So what I did was I pulled out a spark plug. Actually, I pulled out two spark plugs and the spark plugs look almost brand new. They do. They, they look good. I mean, there's a little bit of dirt on it, but the head of the spark plug looks really good. And you can't see that. Anyways, I put a, a scope down in, down in the, the spark plug hole. And inside the cylinders looked good. Man, they look good. They look like this motor may have been freshened up. You can see crosshatch a little bit in the walls. The top of the pistons didn't have hardly any carbon on them. And they were flat top pistons. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking for a good camshaft for it. All the parts will be coming in. Hopefully in a couple weeks, we'll... We'll start working on the motor. We may disassemble a lot of it today. Matter of fact, I'm going to get a table set up and start um, doing some of that right now. No water. That's a good sign. It's always a good sign when you don't see no water in it. She's black, though. All right, let's see if a real mechanic put this on. Oh, yeah. See, that's the way it's supposed to work right there. You're just supposed to twist it off with your hand. Man, maybe I got a good motor. Maybe I got a good motor. All right. All right, it's got a 
a mile guard oil filter, M08A. I think that's, I don't know what that is. It could be a Napa or something. I don't know. Anyways, it's only good for one mile. Uh, so we ain't using that again anyways. I took all the plugs out. The plugs actually look pretty good. This one here is oiled up all on the threads, but that, that could be something else. I think that was something dripping down. Inside the plug, though, it actually looks pretty good. They're all burning slightly slightly on the rich side. I had to start disassembling this motor. It'd be easier to spin around and get to that oil pan if the top end of the motor is off. Plus, I'm, I'm curious to see what shape this motor's in. These little brackets, even though you're not using, you're gonna probably gonna put a four barrel intake or whatever in your aluminum intake, aluminum headers. These little brackets, man, they will save your butt when you're putting your stuff together. So don't lose them Re and kind of remember where they go. They're kind of self-explanatory and most of your intake manifolds already have the holes uh, in them. I'm definitely not gonna be using these old smog heads. Somebody already got, it looks like I already worked on this thing one time before. It's got a delete kit already on it. It's got a bolt soldered in this side. These things are, I'm just glad it's got flat top pistons. These heads are uh, junk. They're probably good heads. They ain't good for what I want to use them for. Yeah, it's definitely been apart before. You can see where it's been scraped and it's dry. We won't be using this thing anymore, that's for sure. You gotta have that EGI. Hey, I don't live in California. Same thing on this side. Nasty. I'll bring you in for a better, closer look. You can see the oil passages is just about plugged up on this thing. So when the oil passage gets plugged up, the oil comes up and floats on this edge and it's gonna leak. These old cork gaskets are gonna leak. All right. There ain't no use playing around with these things. Just get them off. Everybody's tries to, this is a big piece of cast iron. Get the thing off of there. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yep. You don't think it had the uh, exhaust and stuff coming into it? And there's nothing wrong with this. This is perfectly normal. <sighs> this is caused by this passage right here. It's to heat the bottom of the carburetor. The exhaust was flowing into the motor. Great day. <sighs> oh. All right, I guess I got to clean that up. I guess we'll go ahead and pull the cylinder heads off.
<laughs> it doesn't even have exhaust manifold gaskets. Ah. Now, all four of the tall exhaust manifold bolts were uh, stuck on this side, and uh, even the six-sided wrench wouldn't take them, uh, bolt, uh, thing wouldn't take them off, so you put the next size smaller wrench, is what I usually do, metric. Beat that sucker on there really tight. And just tap it with your dead blow hammer. And you don't put these screws back, bolts back on. Also, no, no exhaust, exhaust manifold gasket. All right, just don't play around with it. Just get it off. All right. Now we should be able to get the pan off of there. We could probably eat that stuff, I'm pretty sure. That's another day. Let's get that pan off there. I gotta get working on it. It should rotate over pretty easy now. I don't want to take the motor mounts off yet. Just the oil pan. Time for some K litter because oil's coming out too. Alright, we're starting to make some mess, so we need to put some K litter down. There, there's no head gasket on this side. Okay, there is one here. Ah. That's why they didn't have um, exhaust manifold gaskets on it, because they gave up on it. Probably had a head gasket leak. The turd down. <laughs> didn't even have a exhaust manifold gaskets on it. Didn't even have a head gasket on this side. Well, how does it look, though? Well, 
Look at the carbon in here. Is he gonna run? Oh, I'll make it run. <laughs> Good thing is it had uh, antifreeze in it, which is all over the floor now. And uh, that means the block's probably not cracked. So I think what happened, they had a bad head gasket. They took the intake off it, seen all the garbage up in it, and they said, ah, never mind. <laughs> no, I watch this guy and said, what's, it, what's his channel? I do cars, and he's always ripping in and apart to see what went wrong with it. Uh -huh. It's fairly interesting watching him just tear it apart. Well, it looks pretty good. Then he comes over here and says, oh, this side don't look good. Let's see if you got some combustion in the chain, in the right. combustion in the powerhouse or something. Compression. The malice in the combustion powerhouse or something, he says. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. Then he takes the old pan off, and it's like Christmas. <laughs> That's what got three more bolts and let's see if it's Christmas in here. Oh, that was a pain. Oh. <laughs> that was a pain in the butt chain. That back fan was on so tight. I finally got it off to where I could get. Then I couldn't get the front pulley off. The way that one is, you gotta go in between the steering housing, and then there's a plate. You gotta feed that belt up through there and get it around the front. I've just unbolted the engine mounts and got my bottle jack out and jacked the motor up and slipped it over that way. Then laid it back now. That could be a piece of piston. Uh -oh. Hopefully it's just an old valve guide. Time to change real sloppy. <laughs> Chunky stuff. Mm. We don't like chunkage. No. In the old thing. Don't like, well, everything's coming out. Today I gotta, I gotta cut the pan down. Oh, so, yeah. I don't remember that. You said you were going to cut it down. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, let me, let me help you get that generator loaded up. There's a little bit of gunk in there, but it just looks like sludge. All right, now that I got the shop in total disarray, but semi cleaned up, we need to focus on this oil pan because I wanted to get this thing done today. Oh, so if I remember right, it was hitting right here, that the cross member. Yeah, so I reviewed the picture. The oil plug was clear and it was hitting about right. Give me something to... Right there. So I'm thinking if we come up above that, make our pie cut right here and right here. And I think we can get this thing. We'll just bend that piece back, cut off the rest, weld it up, and patch a little piece of metal into it. Sounds like a plan, right? Let me get the let me get my cutting cutting wheels. All right, I'm gonna start by making a cut here and here, and I'm thinking this piece will then we'll make a cut somewhere across here. I'll make that determination once I make these cuts, and we'll fold this piece down and fold that piece back. That's hopefully the plan. Yeah. And then we'll... You, this thing has been dented and smashed before, so I'm sure it ain't going to hurt it, but we're doing to it. So let's, let's start making cuts.
Now I gotta get some hammers and we'll see if we can't bend this thing around a little bit, get it into shape we want and see what we gotta do next. Man, oh man, that is all is right now. You know you got good tools when they talk to you. And this side is looking pretty good. I could actually cut that and put a tack there. I gotta clean it before I tack it. But this side, this oil pan had hit something years ago. It's got a bad crease in it, and I gotta try to get that crease out of there so this thing will lay flat. May have to, I don't know. Let me, ow, that's really sharp right there. Now, if my measurements are right, I mean my eyeball, I should be able to use something like this one inch plank. It's a five quarter board. It's exactly one inches. I should be able to get that down in there. And we'll leave that there and we'll get this welded. So we'll take the flapper disc and clean this all up so we can get a good weld. Clean up the other side. And we can start tacking it. All right, let's see if we can get, get this uh, thing welded up. Put a piece of patch metal in between. I think we can get it done. couple little spots. Not bad. Not bad. Maybe a little spot here, a little spot here, maybe right down here. That's where that hole I punched through was. That one I thought was, but I think it's okay. We'll know when we do a water test. I'm gonna leave it for now and jump on the other side. All right, so we're gonna, I already tacked this side and I flapped it down and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't weld this thing up now. I think I got it. Now we gotta do something with these things. I think there's a fire in there. Ah. All right, so I put a board in there to pull on this so we can get this side welded up. I may have to put something else in there to get it or, or tack it as I go. That's probably what I'll do. We'll see. We'll see what I got to do. I should I should got to, where's my pry bar? Might be able to. Oh, yeah, we got it. Let's get this thing welded up. I can hold the engine up with that. 
Let's get this other side. Same thing, we gotta pry that over a little bit, tack it, and then we can weld it up. All right, I think we'll flap both these sides, see what we got, fill that center. I found this piece of a uh, short little piece of super strut and I think we'll cut this off and get it all massaged into shape and we'll tack that thing on there and we'll be good to go. All we gotta do is cut it. All right, I got this thing all welded up. It was a lot of welding. It was a lot of beating into submission too. Trying to make that L curve with the pan. But with a lot of beating, and with a lot of pushing, and a lot of shoving, and a lot of welding, we got that thing in place. Let's take a look at it. So we gotta take the flapper to it. I also welded up those spots where I thought I may have been uh, lacking. But we're going to take the flapper disc to it. I think there's a fire still going on inside there. Very possible. She's very hot. But now is the best time to, to flap on it. So I'm going to go ahead and flap on it and we'll see what it looks like. See if we got any pinholes. Flapper commencing. I think we got it. I think we got to run it over there and fill it up with water and see what we got. Eight testing commencing. I see water leaking. Let's see where we see if we can find it. Oh. All right. Got one right there. Some of the leak I think is the drain plug. Ah.
think my wife's coming home. We got one right here, got one right there. Oh, we got leaks everywhere. Not too bad. Oh, that's not my wife. It's Roger's wife, Nancy. She's cat hunting. All right. I think what we'll do is we'll hit some of these welds from the inside, clean them up and see what we got from there. All right, I got it sitting here in the parts washer and looks like it might be leaking over there. I know the drain plug is probably not tight. Looks like I can see daylight. Looks like I got a hole hole right there. Definitely got a hole. All right. Whew, that's gonna be it for tonight. It's not it on this job, but it's it for this video. Uh, is all day. Um, the motor. <laughs> oh man, the motor. Ah, uh, I don't know who the mechanic was that worked on that thing last. It wasn't me. Oh, and God didn't even put gaskets back on it. And they ran it like that. Oh, it, it was surprised that it probably even ran. The amount of carbon that was on top of those, um, it, it's just crazy. That's just, that's just simple crazy. Uh, it's even down here in the in the oil pan uh, on the motor but thank God they had antifreeze in it and that that kept the motor from getting frozen Whew. oh my back is killing me everything's killing me special thanks to Marshall PC Wallbash who let me use his generator um, I think the motor is salvageable. The oil pan, we still got some holes to fix. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll, uh, I'm gonna let that thing sit all week with uh, parts cleaner in it. The gook is just so thick. Oh my gosh. So we're just gonna let that thing sit with the cart parts cleaner in it and we'll come back next week. Next week we're gonna pick up on the, the motor mounts again and we're gonna take the uh, motor mounts off from the original bolts, clean them things up, make them look brand new. Uh, we should have all the parts in to get this thing, not started, started on working on it. Uh, we'll do the disassembling of the motor next week and definitely we'll have the oil pan finished next week. And I wanna put this motor back in the car See if it fits. Because if it don't fit, I may go a different route. Um, it should fit. I, I measured it. What did I say? Uh, measure twice, cut once. All right. God bless each and every one of you. Man, this, this was a long, hard day. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We did. We did, though. Almost. Get that oil paint finished. Oh, great time of day. I'll see you on the next episode of Fixing Things. Man, we got a lot of work. We got a whole year to get this thing ready. God bless you.